Most high-speed interfaces contain parallel buses operating at high frequencies, often data or address buses. Some examples of high-speed interfaces are USB 3.0, PCI Express, DDR3 and 4 memory interfaces, and others. To get these interfaces to work properly, the signals from the transmitter to the receiver need to arrive within a certain time relative to each other. This problem is solved by matching the lengths of a group of conductors within some tolerance. This is done by adding accordion, trombone, or sawtooth delays to the shorter conductors. We can use a similar procedure for the lengths of a group of differential pairs. We can also use this to match the phases of signals within a differential pair. The nets that need to be matched must be placed in classes. When tuning, both net classes and X signal classes can be used. Design rules for these classes must be created using the Design Rules dialog under the High Speed Rules section. The length tuning tools can use the following types of rules. Length. These rules help you limit the minimum and maximum length of a net or group of nets. Matched length rules that allow you to specify the allowable length difference between tracks in a net or within a differential pair. Signals can be matched both in terms of length and delay. After the rules are created, you need to route this group of nets. First, select the desired class through the PCB panel. Sort the nets by length and find the longest. Then try to reduce its length. You also need to evaluate where the shortest nets are and try to lengthen them until they're nominal. Here in the table, nets that need to be lengthened will be shown in yellow. Nets that are longer than the specified value can be shown in red. Once the initial setup is complete, we can start using the length tuning tools. For single tracks, the command to use is its interactive length tuning. When we press tab to access the properties panel, three length tuning patterns are available, accordion, trombone, and sawtooth. We'll select the desired pattern, in this case an accordion, and click the track we want to lengthen. The accordion begins to take shape. Once the target length is reached, accordions stop forming. If we press tab again, we can see by what rule the wire is being matched and how long it will be extended. The clip to target checkbox stops the formation of the accordion when the target length is reached. In addition to the use of rules in this tool, we can also select the net to which we want to define the length of the conductors by. We can also set the target length manually. During accordion definition, use the hotkeys to control the style and size of the accordion. These settings can also be changed in the properties panel. Once placed, the tuning area can be resized and the accordion will dynamically retune. Even while moving, hotkeys for changing the shape of the accordion also work. If necessary, you can resize the area and with the control key it can be rotated, which will allow for a more optimal positioning of the accordion on the board. When the target length is reached, this net will no longer be highlighted in yellow in the PCB panel. Using the same procedure, the remaining nets must be matched. It is worth noting that several length matching rules can apply to the same net. For example, as in the case of the DDR3 or 4 address bus, the length must be matched from the controller to each memory chip. We'll want to choose the appropriate rule and continue from there. Now let's look at the next pattern of the length tuning tool, the trombone. This pattern has similar settings. The trombone tuning region is defined using a sleeve concept, extending to both straight sections and corners. During the construction process, there are also hotkeys to change the size and style of the trombone. The S key turns on one-sided mode. With the shift key, you can move the position of the envelope or sleeve along the wire. Once placed, the shape of the sleeve can be easily reshaped to achieve the desired result. With the control key, we can offset individual parts of the sleeve relative to the center line. When rebuilding the trombone, complex algorithms for filling the tuning area are used. Consider the following length tuning pattern, such as the sawtooth. This is useful in tight spaces, especially between vias under BGA components. This pattern has many settings for optimal placement. It can be used not only for conductors in tight spots, but also when phase aligning differential pair signals. It creates less impedance discontinuity when in small spaces compared to an accordion or trombone. When aligning the phases of differential pair signals, try to place the alignment element closer to the place where the mismatch occurred. For example, when exiting a component. Or in the places where the pair turns. When done right, the positive and negative signal components will propagate synchronously over most of the connection. Once aligned, the differential pair net should stop glowing red in the PCB panel. In addition to signal conductors, length matching may be required for differential pairs. In this case, a separate tool is needed, Interactive Diff Pair Length Tuning. 
It contains the same patterns and tuning elements are constructed in a similar way. As before, matching the lengths of all nets of the selected class with the tolerance specified in the rules is required. 